Um, this is how to open and view a Swift file. Um, most browsers are blocking the Swift file, so if you have a Swift file and you want to just open it in a browser and look at it to see what it looks like, or one of your programs, it's difficult now. So um, unless you've got, maybe if you've got Flash, an old version, it will open it for you. But um, if you're just, if you've got a Swift file and you need to open it just to see what it is, this is how you do that. Um, most browsers are blocking the Swift file unless wrapped in HTML. So what I'm going to do here is show you how to do that. Um, you just want to insert it into your HTML. This is Adobe Dreamweaver. This is a Quebec code view. This is a design view. You got to know a little bit about Dreamweaver or have it uh, to get it, but I basically did file new. Now what I'm going to do is come up here to the menu bar and hit insert. Scroll down to HTML. Go over and scroll down to where it says um, Flash Swift, and it's going to insert it for me. I'm in the body tag. If you look right here, I'm in the body tag, so that's where it's going to insert it for me. Okay, so let me just close this a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. Right here, it's going to insert it here. I'm in the body tag, so it's going to insert all this code. Here's my Swift file that I want to see what it is and what to look at, and I can't open it in um, Google Chrome. It won't open it for me there like that by itself. So what I'm going to do is insert it in this HTML code and um, look at it that way. So I'm selecting the file so it doesn't come up in my viewer, and I hit OK. And just because this is a demo, I'm going to put this, go through the motions here, but if you're doing it for real, you need to put your title tag in there correctly because it helps your SEO. Okay, and then what it does is it puts it all in there. So what I did was insert HTML, and then I scrolled down to the uh, Flash with file, and it brought up the um, Explorer box for me to find my file. And I selected that, and I hit OK, so that, and it put it in there. Now it's in my code. It's in my HTML. It coded all that for me, so I'm good to go. What I'm going to do is come down here to the bottom right corner. Um, there's a real-time preview. I've played around with this before. Internet Explorer will show it. I'm going to say yes there. And there's my image. So it came up. So now I know what it looks like. That's how you can view it. That's how you can open a Swift file. Hope that helps some people. I had some struggle. Um, I'm using Microsoft and Encoder to make this video. It's down here. I don't know if y'all can see it, but it's free and it's really a good tool. If y'all want to uh, make your own videos, that's a good tool to use. Okay, thanks.